Good morning guys today I've just woken up and decided to go and check on my chicks they are one month old today and remember when I posted them the last time they had just come they were only two weeks so today they are one month and two weeks old so if you look at them they have seen for the grown wait a bit you can see look at them they have really grown that time we remember they didn't have feathers. Now they have feathers. They are running all over. Look, look. They are really grown. Look. This is how they, they look. One month and, uh, and two weeks. I'm just stepping on me everywhere, just flying over me. You think that I'm bringing them food? Of course, I bring them food, feed, so they get, they got used. Look. So this is this is where they feed. Some are gone outside. So you need to bring them inside. So this is it. This uh, this was a uh, an experimental project which I was doing here, and uh, I started with forty of them, but now they are at seven because one was eaten by the cat. Remember the one which was eaten by the cat when we began. Then the other two, one was actually crushed by this this water jar, and the other one was also crushed by the food jar when they were feeding over there. So that's how I've lost three of them, but the rest are quite okay. So this is where they drink their water, and the water was suspended. Now when somebody was putting it down, it's just cast one like things like you see. You see they don't run away. They don't run away and then they 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 are clashed. So when you're placing this one, it's supposed to be placed very gently. Some are also feeding up here. These are the smaller ones. The ones which are not gaining weight very fast, we separated the foods, the feed for them. So we put some feed here, and now so that they cannot be able to compete with the big ones here and down here. So basically, this is how how we are here. So today, guys, I'm decided to show you this, and uh, of course, when I woke up today in the morning, the weather looks nice. It was then rained two days ago. Last night there was no much rain. There was no rain actually last, last month. But today, where you find this green, my sunflowers have already flowered, which I just planted recently. Okay, okay. The sunflowers. Uh, my potatoes. I think I'm almost ready now. Down here, you can see them on this place. The purples are flowering. So the season looks very nice. Very nice today. The jackfruits. The glass here is still glowing. I 
Αυτά που κουάβα ασία και μηδέν, μα η φαντσάιτ που ήταν μια φορά χωρά σου να τους εμπλήγω και σε πινήτω και έτσι. Strawberries, yeah. strawberries here, yeah. strawberry. I'm going to try to get it off there. Yeah, that's more edible. These, these are rock cool. Oh, that's what it's called. These ones are local here. They grow on in these bushes here around. So I decided to come and plant them here, near here. And uh, they are also edible. And they are very sweet. It tastes like. Um, This is like soda. <coughs> this, uh, this is where they grow. This, this is where they grow. These ones are not yet ready. This is also another uh, branch. This is how they grow. Look. When we were young here, they used to grow very well under in the bushes. And we used to hit them. This is this. This is the one. Look at how it looks like. This is how it looks like. It's a good breakfast thing to have, actually. Very nutritious. And engineers. There is a big, big, big strawberry here. You see, they have grown them on the on a bucket in my compound. Look at the size of this strawberry. Look. This is, this is how they grow, and that actually now yeah, it's uh it's growing them on the pots. You can we can you can imagine that you can grow these things on just on your on your veranda and they hit them. Without much, just like flowers, and you can see how beautiful they look. How when they flower, and now this is it. This is the one you can see very big, bigger than the one I get in the supermarket. So, this one is ready for heating, just pl pluck it. Look, so this, this one is another, another nice, nice breakfast. So, look. So sometimes I can just wake up, walk in my compound, and have breakfast on various different types of fruits. And that is just within my compound, without even going to the supermarket, without anything. I have already taken a lot of nutrients, food nutrients, very good fruits from your backyard. See, now I'm taking you where you. Where you can see my Allah uh, pineapple, not pineapple, sorry. Uh, what do you call it? Purple. Purple that's growing actually around here. And uh, let's go there and you see it. So, in another, another one month, not, I think a month is too much, maybe a month, yes. Another month it will be ripe and big enough. You can see. And this is the first time this tree has, has grown anything. And you see, I, it's just within the compound, just part of my flower area. So I have a small piece of germinated. This is a rocco tree. I just germinated it from, uh, from a cutting. And you can see this growing quite a bit, quite well. 
up the, the dates are still growing remember i showed them these ones in the last video the jackfruits are still doing fine i need to transplant them i'm germinating some other things here like uh, the money plant this this one with some other seeds something else is growing here i don't know what it is this is this look like a mango actually or something i wait up till i see it what it will grow then it will become a big a big tree and i want to plant it on my forest so guys this is how i woke up the morning looked very nice and decided to share this video with you to see the environment those people who have the environment this can be a big very big uh, update for them personally i'm an enthusiast of environment green things things baby growing naturally no interference and that's what i like doing when on my free time look at this tree that's from from this kind of a uh, bucket and it grows to this kind of size See? the rest are just flowers it's nice they are nice in their own in their own way by descendants be planting flowers and uh and shoot you remember there's a place where i went and showed you the uh the waterfall when i was coming out of the waterfall i well after falling of course you remember it fell round but then i all that when i was going out I, I i saw some fashion fruit growing in the bushes and those are very indigenous fashion fruits uh, in this region if you find a fashion fruit that grows in the in the forest it's very indigenous when you plant it it does it so so after falling from from the forest when i was showing you this uh, waterfall i encountered a, a, a very nice horn growing fashion fruit and i uprooted it then i came i made sure that it grows roots from my backyard here and i've now planted it i've transplanted it and it started doing well so let me show you how it is doing at the moment so this is where I planted it. You see, look at it. They started doing well. In in six months they will be very 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 tall. Look, because this is quite indigenous. That's not it's not affected by by pests here. It's not affected by anything. You don't require to spray it. It it, it grows. It's natural. So what I've done, I've only given a, a forest kind of environment where I've grown it. You can see, you can see these leaves. And uh, if there is no rain, I just water it away in a well. But now it has been raining, I haven't been watering much. So, so guys, you can see the, how it is growing and shooting. And within now, six months, it will have gone up. So I think this is a very nice breed. It's a rock of breed and uh it's doing very fine there is another one i i planted near the gate but that is not uh it's not indigenous so let me go and show you how it looks like this one i planted uh, near the gate it is now fruiting it has fruits let me show you uh, how it is then you can see the difference so this one this one i planted six months ago and uh, you can see it's fruiting now it has grown big big it also climbed higher a this can you see and this one's but this is not indigenous this one is a foreign plant uh, that's not the genius the climate so it will not, it's not going to have very many fruits just like the, the rock ones would have oh this one is falling a bit it's trying to extend so that will be the difference then there is this pot that i have got it broken and i also returned it to the cement last week so this is the one 
and this green well. It's really now to our, to our plant that will go into it. And that plant is going to grow to bigger, big, big other plants. So all my other plants are doing fine, fine. I have shown them in the previous videos and uh, you know how they are doing. So basically that is it. I think I woke up and found the weather was very nice and uh, I was feeling in the mood of showing you. The only thing I've wanted here is this one, which is uh, the, dead, uh, the dead plant that I was growing on the other side. I brought it here. I yet can get enough sunshine, and uh, you can see it is now more green than it used to be. It used to be yellowish looking, so I believe it is going to grow bigger. And you can now see it is it has started to shoot. And so this is, this has been the, what I've been able to do this morning. Yeah, I've shown you quite a number of things: the chicken, the plants. So later I want to go out and show you other things outside there that, uh, that you find quite interesting. First we have uh, some more strawberries. guys welcome back later in the afternoon i decided to take the car the car wash so let us go to the car wash and see what is going to be to happen there thank you guys accompany me to the car wash
been washed now I'm eating mess I bought mess from the road roadside yeah we call it this in America they call it corn this is roasted actually this is what I'm enjoying at the moment hey guys now we come to the end of this video kindly subscribe to our channel Give it a like, share it, and let us meet in the next video. Thank you very much.